Welcome back to more Protozone 2. I forgot that since these are slime leaves, they technically make the slime noise when you jump on them sometimes. Sometimes, like, just make the slime noise and jump up and down. Anyway, uh, I've since upgraded my new crossbow a little bit. And, uh, it's gotten really, really good. Look how fast that is. And the bolts have gotten much better, too. Oh my god. Yeah. And the auto repair has gotten better, too. That's just from luck. So the ammo will be replenishing very quickly. Anyway, today, I'm gonna do something I said I would do last time, but I didn't get around to it. We are going to make the RF Tools Crafters. Yay! These will be a way to automatically craft things, which will be very useful. Uh, there we go. No, there we go. Aha. Just do this over and over again to go up the tiers, because the higher tiers have more crafting space. Let's put this right next to here for now. I think this will get power. No? This has the thing for it. Oh, well. Let's, uh... Let's take this one off. Because we're gonna make more solar panels. Oh, you know what the problem was? There was, uh... There's no power code. It's night. Hold on. Is it a blood moon? Let's find out. It's not a blood moon. Good. Good, good, good. So the crafter needs power, but we can put recipes in, and it'll work and do things. Power leaves a bit to be desired, but we're going to be making some solar panels today. Does that sound fun? It sounds pretty fun. So let's get the solar panel recipes up. Let's see. First start off with, we need the mirrors. We'll get some glass and some iron. Get that there. How much iron do I have in here? Not a whole lot. Enough for our, our little experiment here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we make the recipe in here. So what we do here... Interior... Do this... Make the recipe. Aha! So now if we put the items in here, it automatically crafts them. So now we have all these mirrors. So now for this, we need three mirrors, some wood, and redstone. Let me get the wood. Aha! I'll see the redstone. Dang it. Keep forgetting. That part's important. Okay. Next recipe. So I'm clicking interior here, because otherwise it'll go in this output buffer. Which is where, you know, you can pull items out of it. But, for now, let's, uh... It was this... And that. And then three mirrors. Aha! And that will give us tier one solar panel. Put that in there. We have four solar panels. Nice. Now next we need the redstone reception coil. This might be a problem because this also uses redstone. But, you know. We need redstone reception coils for a lot of things anyway. Oh well. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hopefully it won't be a problem. So next is... The aforementioned reception coil. Aha! That's a lot of them, but... Oh, let's keep this interior as well. So we put all these around it. That. And there we have the recipe for solar panel 2. So now we just need to put in these four things. No, and iron. Uh. Yeah. You know what else we should do is. We can make sure there's always a space set out for some of the ingredients. 
Okay, so for now, let's uh, set this off to activate. Or just on to activate. Correct? Okay, yeah, it isn't active yet. So let's see. Uh, yeah, let's do this in order. So first, let's... Uh... Okay, there we go. So let's set up a place for this. Uh, this is important. Do I have redstone here? I should. I have enough. These compacting drawers are very useful. And that. Like it's on to activate. Silly me. Hmm. Yeah, again, this is causing a bit of a problem. We may need to set this aside and do other things, so let's, uh, just, uh, forget this recipe for now. And, remember that. So now I'll always have a space for these. Like, in case we, like, run out of room to put new stuff in, it'll always have that. So now, we need more glass... So we just need to put a lot of that stuff in. Do I have extra glass around here? I think I used all that. So what we just very quickly need to do is... Get some sand, cook it up. All that old fun stuff. It's not a really easy way of getting glass, I think. At least for like the time being or anything. Get our hammer. Okay. This here. Mm hmm. And start cooking up the sand. Uh, the alloy smelters looking pretty good right about now. That should go relatively fast, right? I think. Right. So let's just put more of that in here. Mm-hmm. So once we get eight, it'll automatically make that. And I think we just need more glass. Aha! It's like that in our solar panel. Now to get the solar panel three, not only do we need this basic machine frame, which is a bit annoying. Also have the leadstone energy cell, which is also a bit annoying. And this which is also a bit annoying. But in the near future, well, not really near future, sometime we'll get around to, like, doing a lot of this stuff. But still, this is pretty good already. This is ADR per tick. This is also ADR per tick. So it's as good as these Ender IO ones. This is a lot better, though. Yeah. So this is nice. We'll get to this. But for now... Making solar panel twos, baby. Yeah. Okay. What else did we want to do today? Yes, I wanted to show off the storage drawer stuff. So I got quite a few upgrades we can make. Some quests actually want us to do this, so... Storage upgrade two, three, etc. To increase the amount of stacks of items it can hold. Emerald is the best. There's also various redstone stuff, which I don't think I'll ever use. There's also the Void Upgrade, which, if you put more in than it can handle, destroys the extra. Which, if we're going to be automating some stuff, this will be very helpful as well. So, let's see. Over here, so if we just put loot bags in, we don't want, like, we don't like this to run out of space or anything. Not that we're dangerous, dangerous or close to that at all, but, you know, it's something to keep an eye out for. One thing I do want to keep a lot of is this Minicio Essence. Since, uh, there are some things I want to get to eventually, and we need much, much, much more Minicio than that. Okay, so, let's get some Emeralds. Just need four, correct? Aha. 
Is it like this? I think it's like this. It's always something. Okay. Increase store to 13 times base value. And you can have multiple of these, and I'll show you in a bit. But, 32 stack limit, 416. So if you crouch and right click, yeah, you can have up to five. So what I may do at the end, at the end game of this, is have four emeralds and one of the void upgrades. But that's for later. We'll get to that later, I think. Wonderful. So we'll get this going. I'll eventually. Hmm? Okay, it glitched out a bit there. So what we will eventually need to do is uh, get a way of at least somewhat automating more to get it up to solar panel 3. How do you get to solar panel 4? What's this like? Mm, that's a bit... That's a bit more annoying. Mm, that's very much more annoying. But this is good power. This is very good power. I forgot. Is the mechanism stuff good? I think I remember mechanism stuff being pretty good. So let's see, you had some generators, some around here. Uh, I know the wind generator is pretty decent, but I don't exactly remember how much it gives. I'd have to look it up. But, these aren't that bad to make. Well, once we get the machines and, and such for it. Okay. Enough about our power situation for now. Let's look at our quest book again. Since we want to kind of start making our way towards the Wand of Animation, and we have the Aether unlocked. So for the Aether portal, it's like the Nether portal. Instead of Obsidian, it's Glowstone. Instead of Flint and Steel, it's Water. So let's get some Glowstone real quick. Uh, yeah, I did put Fortune on this. Nice. Wait, does Fortune affect Glowstone? Hmm. I don't think it does, actually. But oh well. Also, why'd I come down here? Why did I come down here? Pikmin, move. Oh, you're in there. Also, I think my crossbow itself got sharpness, but I think that's just for melee damage or something. I don't know. Whatever it, is, whatever it is, it's not important. Okay. We have the Magadon, so let's just uh, go over here. Pick some of this. We should get a Silk Touch thing at some point, too. It's not super important. Right now, at least. Okay. We have enough Glowstone for a long time. And now, so we need 14, but, you know, let's make it all fancy. Act. Okay, let's, uh, I'll just put it on this side somewhere. Let's get some wood or something. I only really need to make these portals once. Because I can just teleport there. Mm hmm. Get up there. Oh, you really do only need 14. Whoops. I just made extra for no reason. Okay. That'll put these down here. That's where glowstone is. Okie dokie. Let's get one bucket of water. Put it in here. Aha. Aether. And I've only played with this mod a tiny amount. And I recall it was like abandoned, I think, at some point, but it came back. And it's loud, so we're going to quickly go through the portal and just, you know, try to avoid the noise if we can. Because this mod gets loud. 
So the point of the Aether, it's like... High up in the sky, it's a little sky world. I mean, more so than... We are here already. Also, it's taking a... While. There we go. Aha! Oh, okay, we got some... Weird mobs. Okay, let's just park ourselves on top of the portal here. Add new. Aether. Okay. Is there actually a slime island here? Oh, there is. Huh. I thought it was like, is that a map glitch? No, there is a slime island here. Okay, what is there to do in the Aether? What's it want us to do? Nothing. Okay, just want us to go there. At least for that part. We can get some clouds to do stuff. We can also complete the labyrinth, which is like a mini dungeon. There's some bosses and such. And then this is for EMC stuff later on. But we want to get to the antlion. So we need to make this stuff. Okay, we'll do stuff here later. But we have all that settled. So we're good to go. I won't destroy it in case we need it later for things. Okay, I'll just uh, put our loot bags in there. Yeah, I see some of the miscellaneous stuff being voided out. We don't really need any of that. Okay, so... Erebus. The bug dimension, which I'm not super fond of, but this stuff has to be done. Okay, Staff of Gaia... Something like that. Vines we already have, luckily. Gallon gem, offering altar. I don't know how to make the alt offering altar, but we need to make this. Which is stone brick. Obsidian, more vines. Where are my vines at? Where did I put them? Did I use them all or did I actually put them somewhere? No, I used them. Oh well. Mm-hmm. There we go. So, where is this offering altar? Is it something around here that we can easily make? Part of some of the other stuff. Composter. Oh, well. I'll, I'll look it up. We need to make this stuff first. So, smooth stone, brick, obsidian. Let's get some stone! Do the same thing here. Get all this glass for solar panels. Yeah! Put that all in there. Ooh, look at that. Getting more solar panels already. Okay, we don't need a whole lot, I think. How much does it make again? Oh, that's already enough. Lovely. That's all we need. Uh, obsidian. I made obsidian essence, correct? Yes, I did. There we go. And the offering altar. No, sorry. Keystone. Aha. It wants us to make two of these rods. I think I remember why, but let's see. Gaian Keystone, 10 Stone Bricks, 6 Oak Leaves, or just leaves in general. I can do this. Uh, yeah, just do this. I forgot if Shears fall into the thing where it's like, it only has two uses. Oh, well, we'll find out at least. Bar a few of these. Aha. Uh, it doesn't say, so... Okay, I think we're good. Okay, we also- we do need leaves for stuff later, I think, so let's just... get all this. There we go. 
Let's try and stay from that portal as much as possible since it will be pretty loud. And I'll do better storage stuff soon as well. But we got leaves. We've also got more smooth stone. Oh, run out of power? Hmm. Okay. Uh, yep, that's good. So now let's get this altar thingy. Uh, offering altar, okay. Smooth stone, stone bricks, golden obsidian. Oh, good thing I didn't turn them all into bricks. Okay. Offering altar. Don't make three, we only need the one. Let's just put this, oh, I don't know, right here. We don't need to use it for much. So what do we do with this? We need to make this. Diamond, obsidian, and emerald in this altar. Okay. Will this work on it? Wool and a note block. That portal is going to be loud, and I don't really want to be around it for long. Okay. We have string for wool. Okay, we do. Just uh, do this real quick. Oh boy. Slight detour. Because I do not want to deal with all that. Yep, get all that. Okay. No block. And muffler. Because that portal's loud, and I don't want to deal with that. I think it worked. Okay. Uh, two diamonds, two emeralds. Yeah, that's already quieter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aha. Eh? Hmm. Yeah, doing it? No? Huh? Okay, this is going to take a bit, I imagine. And we need two of these. Which is not fun. But this needs to be done. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, there we go. Got one diamond. Mm. Emerald. And obsidian. Okay, let's put some of this junk away. Uh, here, let's... Temporary solution to our problem. Okay. Hey, Slime, I'll do with you in a second, alright? Okay. <laughs> that away, that away. I don't need to do that. Need the bricks. I'll just put this in here. Okay. There we go. And now we make the thing. This. 
Aha. We've done it. So now, what's it, what does it want us to do? Build a portal frame and get creative here and shape will do. Don't need to make it vertical. Fill up any of leaves and leaves should work even from other mods. Place a keystone in front of the portal. Then right click the keystone using your staff. Okay. Let's quickly do that. We're not going to explore the uh, Erebus dimension that much. But, you know. I mean, not, not today at least. We'll do that later. Okay, the sound muffler definitely did work. Okay, now let's make... This portal. Uh, let's just, that's a lot of work. <laughs> okay, fill that baby up with leaves. Place the thing here. Put the first staff in. Ah, it works. Okay, uh, let's jump right in then. Oh boy, oh boy. The bug dimension is here! Any minute now, but... Aha! Ooh. Oh. This only puts us in a weird spot. Okay, so this is our exit portal. There we go. So let's put this here. Erebus. Okay. So this is the bug dimension. Not really seeing a lot of bugs here, but trust me, there are a lot of bugs. So we need to find the antlion pyramid thing. And there's a bit of a labyrinth that we need to solve and some puzzles. But then we fight the Antlion King, get its little soul gem thing, make the Wand of Animation, and we're all good to go! Get away from me, flies. I don't know if you're the bad type of fly or the other fly. But we'll do that next time! I hope to see you guys then, since... Hopefully this won't go super bad. We have Zephyzio Armor. We take a lot of reduced damage. We have this really super good crossbow. There we go. Shouldn't be a huge problem for us. Guy's too fast. Gotcha. <laughs> Flawless. First try. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to do that next time. The next step towards our ultimate goal of duplicating blocks. We'll get there soon. This is our next big step. See you guys next time.